Welcome to Tech Insight, where we show you how to make your workspace work. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Citrix Endpoint Management MDX app containers for iOS using Citrix Secure productivity apps, as well as a third-party app enabled for MDX. We'll start our experience on our iPad by opening our workspace app where we've already logged into our workspace. We'll see mobile apps available and we select the first one, we'll be asked to enroll with Citrix Secure Hub. This will follow the same process as if we used Secure Hub where we had not already enabled our workspace. After entering our Citrix PIN, we'll be returned to our workspace app. Here we'll be able to select the additional mobile apps that we want to install on our iPad. And after the last mobile app is installed, we'll go ahead and open Citrix Secure Mail. We'll notice that the first time we open it, we'll be asked to authorize the app. After doing that, we'll see that we receive several emails. If we open a particular one, we'll notice some URLs at the bottom. We'll select one that navigates to an internet site. We'll notice that it opens into Secure Web directly and is able to reach the site thanks to integration with MicroVPN. Then we'll go ahead and copy that URL and we'll try to paste it into the Safari browser. We'll notice that we can't paste it because Safari is not MDX enabled. But now we'll go ahead and open our internet app and we'll see that we're able to paste that same URL because that is MDX enabled and we're able to navigate to our internet site. Now if we return to Secure Mail, we'll see that we have a Word document attached. If we select a doc, we'll try to open it into Dropbox. And we notice that we receive a restriction warning because it's prohibited by MDX policy. Now we can go ahead and open that into Citrix files though because Citrix files is MDX enabled. In Citrix files, we'll see some options to edit the file and do some annotations. After complete, we can go ahead and save the file to the ShareFile site. We'll navigate to the folder that we cho choose. We'll select that and then we'll do the upload. And if we return to our personal folders to the location we selected, we'll see the file has in fact been uploaded. Now we can return to Secure Mail and continue reading our emails. Apps on mobile devices have access to any of their many valuable resources by default. However, the flip side of having open access is that the app can utilize device functions that security policy may prohibit, such as the camera when environment images need to be protected, or share files containing intellectual property with other apps, or use the network to send other confidential data over the internet. Also, they're susceptible to viruses or vulnerabilities in the operating system. The device could be jailbroken, putting platform's native features and security functionality at risk. Other apps containing malware may unknowingly make the app susceptible to data loss. Putting apps within a container mitigates these potential threats on the device. It includes controls defined by security policy to limit platform access, network access, and includes an encrypted store for data to be shared securely within the container. When apps are integrated with the Citrix Endpoint Management Container, the requests to access device functions or to share data with other apps are intercepted and evaluated according to app management policies. An app request to utilize the device camera may be blocked. An app request to share data with another app on the device may be denied while it may be allowed to share data with other apps within the container. And then app requests to use the network may be redirected to use a secure per app microVPN tunnel to the corporate internet. In order to containerize apps, they need to have some lines of code inserted that includes libraries or references to them to intercept calls to operating system functions. With this, they then operate within the protection of the container on the device. We'll begin our admin experience by opening the Endpoint Management Console and navigate to Configure Apps Add and select a link to the MDX service, which will bring us to our wizard back in the Citrix Cloud Console. We will begin the wrapping process by selecting the source IPA file for our enterprise internet app. And then we're presented with fields to verify app details, such as the minimum OS version. To obtain a provisioning profile, we'll need to create an Apple developer account. Apple, Apple offers two versions, 
The standard version allows for testing on up to 100 devices, while the enterprise version allows apps to be used on an unlimited number of devices. Here I've already logged into my developer account and I'll navigate to the Certificate, IDs, and Profiles section where you see I've already uploaded an iOS distribution certificate required to create a provisioning profile. I created it by selecting Production Ad Hoc App Store. Then I created a certificate signing request. Here we'll see how to do this using the Keychain Access app on macOS. Yet you may also create it elsewhere, such as in Microsoft IIS. After creating the certificate, I downloaded it and then imported it into my macOS Keychain Access app. By doing that, I can then export it in the P2 format I need to utilize for MDX wrapping by entering a password for the cert along with my local admin password to complete the export. Now we'll return to our Apple developer site and navigate to App ID where we'll create one by first entering a description and then a bundle ID that's unique throughout our MDX ecosystem. Now we can go ahead and create a provisioning profile by selecting distribution type ad hoc. Next we'll find the app ID we just created automatically populated. And we'll also be able to select our distribution certificate. Finally, since I'm using a standard developer account, I'll be asked to select a device where I'll test the app. And now I can download my provisioning profile. And then back under devices, you can see where I entered the UID for my iPad. Now back in our MDX wrapping wizard, we can select the provisioning profile we created along with the distribution certificate. And after entering the export password, the wizard will verify those files and create the MDX file for us to download. And while the cloud wizard simplifies the wrapping process, there are times we may need to take a more detailed approach. The MDX Toolkit for macOS gives us a command line tool to do the wrapping using the same provisioning profile and distribution certificate, while allowing us to enter additional parameters to customize the wrapping process or to utilize detailed logging if necessary. Now if we return to our Endpoint Management Console, we can upload the MDX file for our enterprise intranet app. We'll follow the wizard and then we'll assign it to a delivery group. Next, we'll navigate to the Citrix.com download page for endpoint management, where we'll download the iOS productivity app files, which are already MDX enabled. Once downloaded, first we'll go ahead and upload the Citrix Secure Mail app. After entering a name, We'll do upload and navigate to the secure mail MDX file in the bundle that we just downloaded. We'll notice cut and copy are restricted to MDX apps by default, but we'll specify that for paste in the available drop down options. We'll also see that document open in is restricted, which includes Citrix productivity apps by default. We'll notice device level restrictions like camera, and we'll see micro VPN tunneling is enabled by default. And finally, under App Specific Settings for Secure Mail, we'll enter the Exchange Server FQDN and User Domain. We'll go ahead and assign that to our delivery group. And we'll follow the exact same process to upload Secure Web and assign it to our delivery group. After that's uploaded, we'll do the same process to upload Citrix files. Yet with Citrix files, we'll need to take a couple additional configuration steps. We'll navigate to Configure Share File section and we'll enter the FQDN for our share file site. After that, we'll select our delivery group and enter our site admin credentials. After verifying connectivity, turn on account provisioning, which will allow share file cloud user account to be dynamically created and mapped to provide single sign in for each enrolled user. Then we'll navigate to our delivery group and enable share file for its managed users. Now we've completed configuration of our MDX container apps for our workspace users to utilize on their iOS devices 
while protecting our enterprise data 